Russia's invasion in Ukraine, which now appears to be shifting to a more destructive phase with no regard for civilian casualties. The U.S. is condemning the latest Russian airstrike that destroyed a maternity hospital. And now the U.S. is warning of a new Russian threat involving chemical weapons. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. Today, the foreign ministers of Russia and Ukraine meet in Turkey in the first high-level talks between the two countries since Russia invaded, though analysts fear a low chance for a breakthrough. The talks come amid a horrific attack on a children's and maternity hospital in Mariupol. Ukrainian officials say it was a targeted attack by Russian warplanes. Disturbing images show the impact, windows and walls blown out, a pregnant woman and many others, including children, carried out of the rubble. <laughs> Ukrainian President Zelensky calling the attack an atrocity. For the fifth straight day, attempts to evacuate Mariupol's trapped citizens have failed as the fighting rages on. But in other cities, many were able to escape through humanitarian corridors. Already, more than 2.1 million people have fled the country. The Russian army... Uh... Uh, crush and uh, our city. In Washington, officials are concerned Russia could be preparing to use chemical or biological weapons after accusing Ukraine of running biolabs with U.S. support. The Russian accusations uh, are absurd. They're laughable. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki saying the false claims could be a pretext for Moscow to use such weapons itself, adding we should be on the lookout for Russia to possibly use chemical or biological weapons in Ukraine or to create a false flag operation using them. The U.S. House voted overwhelmingly to approve $3.5 billion in new humanitarian aid to Ukraine while codifying the ban of Russian oil and gas imports. In